And good afternoon. This is Eric Tallman, meteorologist. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today has just been one of those uh, laid back kind of days, kind of uh, days where you just don't want to do anything. Well, I can understand that, especially if it's hot, very, very hot, and it is very hot, very humid outside. And if you're going to be out there doing outdoor activities, make sure that you take frequent breaks because I believe you're going to need them, um, especially uh, with all this hot and humid uh, conditions that we're experiencing today. Now, yesterday we had a heat advisory that wasn't in fact for Southeast Michigan. That has been canceled. I haven't been told anything different. Otherwise, I would have been uh, letting you guys know ahead of time. We have this cold front that still has to get through Southeast Lower Michigan. It's actually halfway there. Uh, hopefully we'll get some showers and thunderstorms out of it, and we're supposed to, but we're not expecting any severe weather. Um, if, if that was the case, we would have had a watch up in southeast lower Michigan, but at all, the severe weather is going to stay way to the south of us. We're not expected to have any severe weather, so that's actually a good thing. Uh, for us in Michigan, once again, we got lucky again, unfortunately. Way down in the south, there's actually some severe thunderstorm warnings that are in effect way down over there as they deal with some of the strong and severe thunderstorms down over there. And uh, there's some thunderstorms that are brewing right over here. Uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on this general area over here. It looks like we might have some development of uh, thunderstorm activity. We'll kind of watch that. Maybe some of those thunderstorms might roll in to southeast Lower Michigan and that will probably be uh, later on this afternoon into this evening. We'll kind of let you know, but we did tell you before as that cold front does come on through it's going to bring us some showers and thunderstorms with it. Maybe one or two of them may be severe, but we're not expected at all to have any kind of severe weather. But we might have a few of those thunderstorms might be on the strong side, but not at all uh, anticipating severe weather once again for those that have, uh, have had that answer from yesterday. It was a really bad confusion yesterday, I can tell you. I had a lot of questions about severe weather yesterday, people asking me, is there going to be a severe weather watch, a severe thunderstorm watch, a tornado watch. There was just a whole mass of different things that were going on all at the same time, so it was a little frustrating trying to figure it out, but this is the first time in a while I've ever been tweeted those questions before, so I'm trying to get answers and questions so I could tell the viewers that. Mm -hmm. So it did get a little confusing. So you can see that uh, all the precipitation is at actually scattered out, but we don't have nothing going on in Southeast Lower Michigan. Just very, very hot, humid conditions and very, uh, very cloudy outside and very, very sunny and warm outside. And we'll talk about the rest of the forecast right now and tell you what we expect. For the remainder of uh, today, the temperatures are going to be moderating this week uh, coming up. So for Sunday, today we go all the way up to 90. There is a heat index. We'll go over all the current conditions and the rest of the seven-day forecast. We're going to redo everything and put everything in action here. So today the high of 90, Monday 86 degrees, and Tuesday 82 degrees will be the high for the next three days. And then we'll talk about that seven-day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Um, but for those... Drink a lot of water, 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 water. Don't be drinking alcoholic drinks today. Don't even be drinking any sport drinks because uh, I don't think that's going to help dehydration. Uh, but if you do start to feel uh, dehydration, that type of thing, um, think of something fast. Get water. Basically, is going to be the main category of water to keep your, your body from being dehydrated. We actually have been talking about that since yesterday and hopefully people are taking the right steps today, drinking a lot of fluids and it doesn't take long. Even if you step out for a couple of minutes outside, it doesn't take long for your body to react and you start getting aches and pains and things like where you're going to pass out, that type of thing. And people, um, if you have respiratory problems such as asthma, this is not the kind of weather to be out in because it doesn't take long for your body, body to react to where you can't breathe or anything like that. And when you can't breathe, that immediately stops you. So uh, today, basically, you know, 
AC, check on your loved ones, family, um, elderly, that type of thing. Make sure that everybody is okay. So for the remainder of the rest of the day, all I can say is please use precautions today if you're going to be out outdoors or if you're going to be out. Don't leave um, your your animals out in the heat. Don't um, you know? Don't let your kids play outside for very very long periods of time. I, I wouldn't even adventure outside or play outside, not even at the playground with it being so hot as it is today. So you might want to do that another day, take them out on an outing and take them where there's air conditioning, because uh, I know out in Metro Detroit there are cooling centers and we'll try and get a list of those cooling centers of where you can go to stay out of the heat and that's basically what a lot of people are doing today. Um, so that's probably a good idea. I wish I could go to a cooling center, but we have AC and we've got it all right here. So uh, we'll get a list of all those cooling centers across Metropolitan Detroit of where you can go to stay out of the heat. But if you're going to do any activities, just do it where it's nice and cool. Don't um, do like any outdoor activities such as, um, you know, baseball, that type of thing. So we'll be monitoring the weather all day long and we'll be talking about all this heat and the temperature and etc. So uh, we've got much more headed our way and uh, we'll talk about more coming up at 3.30. So uh, we'll see you then and we'll talk about um, heat um, when I come back, I mean, uh, we've got more.